Alright, so a few more interesting things about me besides my quilting and sewing and origami is that I um, can play different musical instruments. I can play the French horn, the electric bass guitar, and the mellophone. And um, I play the mellophone because I was in the marching band at Iowa State. Um, that was really fun. Um, and let's see, uh, another cool thing about me is I created an entire quilt out of my ribbons from my 4-H years. Um, I wanted to create a way to display all of my ribbons um, in a really cool manner besides just tossing them in a box and forgetting about it. So I took all of my ribbons, um, I saved the backs of the ribbons, and I... Um, and I cut them all up into tiny little triangles and squares and sewed it all together to make this really cool quilt. And um, the reason why I saved the back of the ribbon is because I had written um, every single project that I had ever done on that little piece of paper on the back of the ribbon. And so I scanned in all of those names and, and projects onto some fabric and I put that as the back of the quilt, so it's more, it was a, it's a memory of my 4-H years. And what's really cool about this ribbon quilt is that it got special recognition at the Iowa State Fair and had the opportunity to be displayed in the State 4-H office. And people in my area of the state, like, never get that special recognition, so that was really cool to have that, uh, to have that happen to me. Um, some other cool interesting things is um, I entered in some cakes to the Iowa State Fair last year and it was my very first time entering so I wasn't expecting anything to happen. I just kind of wanted to enter some cakes in just for the heck of it. And actually one of my cakes placed first in its category. I was totally not expecting that to happen. So that was really exciting for me um, to see to see one of my cakes uh, do so well in a statewide competition. Um, so that's a few more interesting things about me. Um, so uh, some things that I excel at in life or anything hands-on. Uh, I love creating things with my hands. I'm good at woodworking. Um, I'm good at computers. Um, I'm a quick learner, so um, I can learn a lot of things very fast. Um, so I'm a pretty good at, at uh, hands-on things. Sometimes if a lot of instructions or or some things are all words. I, I tend to struggle at, at stuff like that, so I'm more of a visual person, so um, that's probably why I'm really great at cake decorating and, and art, because it's all visual. Um, so, I, yeah, I tend to struggle with, with, uh, with things that are kind of boring and long drawn out and uh, not creative at all. Um, why am I an engineer again? <laughs> Oh, just kidding. Um, so that is a little, bit, a little bit of things that I tend to struggle with. Um, my toughest critics, what would they say about me? Um, I would say sometimes I'm, I tend to volunteer for things too much, so they could call me a brown noser, I suppose. Because uh, I'm always the first to uh, spout out an answer. Because, you know, it gets kind of, like, awkward when uh, someone asks you a question to a large group and no one answers. Everyone's just sitting there. So I kind of like to break the ice and answer the first question no matter if my answer is completely wrong. Um, I just like to break the ice and um, and get things going. So I'd say my toughest critics would call me a brown noser because of that. I mean, I don't know why, but hey, 
Um, my, let's see, my best and my worst quality. I would say my best quality is my creativity because um, it spreads joy to other people and I love, uh, I love doing that. And I would also say I like to volunteer for a lot of things, so that's a really good quality for me because um, it also helps people out. Um, my worst quality would probably be my meticulous nature because I tend to like to get things done right and sometimes I get caught up on things because it's not perfect. So, um, that would probably be one of my worst qualities, um, I don't know, because some people probably don't understand it, and it's hard to explain, but, yeah, that's, those are my best and worst qualities. Um, how would I react to criticism? Um, no one likes being criticized, I'll just say that outright, but when I am criticized, I like to listen. Um, I I like to learn from criticism. If something if someone says something bad about one of my cakes or something I do, I'm not gonna just go cry in a corner and give up on my life. I'm gonna listen to what they say and I'm gonna try to correct it. I mean, sometimes people's opinions aren't always desirable, but I consider every single criticism as a learning opportunity. Because your point of view and my point of view aren't going to be the same. So it's, it's nice to see uh, how other people react. So I would say I react to criticism pretty well because I take every criticism as a learning experience. Um, so I have never seen any episode of The Next Great Baker. So, um, I can't really say anything about the contestants, but what I can say is that, um, I'm going to bring it. I will take my cake decorating skills and, um, 